What's up everybody, this is John Raymond coming to you from the workshop. And today I want to help you out if you feel like you are in a rut when you practice. I think we all experience this as musicians and uh, you know, it's my belief that we tend to get stuck in a rut for two different reasons, really simply. One is we either overthink ourselves into a rut or we don't think enough and we just get so absent-minded that we, we lose focus, right? So I wanna just propose one simple idea that I think can help you get out of whatever practice rut that you're in. And that idea is this. You have to balance structure and freedom when you practice, right? What do I mean by that? With structure, all I'm saying is you have to have something specific that you're aiming at. It could be a specific goal, a specific exercise or a set of parameters that you're working with. All of that is giving you some structure to live within, right? So this could be as simple as, I wanna play with an even resonant sound across all registers of my instrument. Or my goal or, or the exercise is that I wanna play and outline the chord changes clearly every chorus of this song that I'm working on, right? Or maybe it's even that I'm gonna set myself the parameters if I only get to improvise with quarter notes and half notes. All of these things are challenging in their own ways and they give you this thing to aim at. And if you don't have something to aim at, you're going to be aimless, right? So the important part about structure is giving yourself something specific, like a specific world almost, to live within, right? And what you're gonna find is when you have that structure, that structure forces you to find freedom within it. You start to realize that the things that are actually creative are the things that are just lots of small, little structured ideas packaged together in a new way. And this is where the idea of freedom comes in when you practice. When you practice, you have to play in such a way where you're always forcing yourself to be making spontaneous, improvised decisions in the moment. Right? If you do something totally from rote with only rigidity and only structure without using that improvisation muscle when you practice, that is going to make you a stiff, rigid improviser. But if you want to be an improviser that plays with this amazing flow and instincts when you play, you have to practice in such a way where you're using that muscle that comes from giving yourself a certain amount of freedom to make decisions within the confines of the structure. Does that make sense? So like, for example, if you want to play with an even full resonant sound across all registers, maybe that's your goal, that's your structure, but how you're actually going to get there, maybe that is the part that there's a certain amount of freedom and you can kind of embark on this process of self-discovery as you practice. That invigorates us when we get into the practice room, right? Not necessarily the rigidity and the rote things, right? Or if you're trying to outline the chord changes clearly on a song that you're working on, right? That's a good structured goal to have and it's gonna make you play in a certain way, but you don't have to play the same ideas or same lines all the time. In fact, you can outline chord changes clearly by getting to the same notes in a many, many different ways. That's where the freedom comes in. All of this will get you to the point where you will then be able to be developing this sense of being both productive and creative when you're practicing. And that's going to help you use the muscles daily that you need to be a great improviser. So again, the key, balance, structure, and freedom. If you tend to be the kind of person that plays with too much structure, force yourself when you practice to have more freedom, more opportunities to make those spontaneous decisions. That's gonna get you out of that rut. Or if you're on the flip side and you just pick up your instrument and you just play without thinking, give yourself some specific structure. That's gonna challenge you. It's gonna work you. And that's gonna make you more productive and more creative when you practice. So if you have any questions, let me know. I would love to help if I can. Stay tuned for a lot more videos coming soon and we'll see you next time.